what? The moons, passengers, SpaceX has never put a, uh, a living thing in its, in its rockets, as far as we know. Correct. So, you know, SpaceX was founded to send humans to Mars. Obviously, going to Moon, the Moon is a little closer than Mars, so maybe this is sort of step one as they try to figure this all out. Um, what's interesting is that this comes at a time when the Trump administration has signaled a lot of interest in also sending humans to the Moon. And so, part of this is maybe a marketing effort by SpaceX to kind of show the excitement around space and show to Trump that they could do it. Many years ago, when Elon and I were like this, we were not actually really like this, but I, was, I, I did a story with him at the SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. We walked through the, the factory, and I looked at this capsule on the, the, that was, the, was going to be the top of the rocket, and I, I said, what do you need a window for? And he just gave me this, this grin that suggested that those plans were absolutely there to put people into space. Oh, yeah. There were, I mean, and, and to be clear, SpaceX has a contract with NASA to send astronauts to the International Space Station, but this is private citizens. This is not astronauts. So while they're working with NASA to get certified to send Dragon crew to the ISS, they're announcing today that two people have apparently paid them a pretty significant sum to fly around the moon late next year. So uh, Richard Branson's uh, Spaceship Two, now, they had a successful test flight last week out mm -hmm. in the desert, um, and uh, they're charging, what, a quarter of a million per person? I think so, Do yeah. we, can we, should we try to guess what it costs to go around to the moon? Because that's for, that's for not a lot of time of weightlessness. Uh, in right. I mean, I think what's different is, you know, SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin are talking about kind of s taking people to space, letting them experience weightlessness, and then bringing them back. This is orbiting the moon, which is a whole different ball game. And I mean, it could be, I don't, it could be, you know, one analyst told me at least 50, 50 million a piece. Um, and there are plenty of people in Silicon Valley and Hollywood and elsewhere who have that kind of money who would love to be the first to do it. Would you want to go? Probably not. I find the, the notion vaguely <laughs> terrifying, but maybe there, there are braver people out there. But well, there are people Space, SpaceX is talking about doing this on Falcon Heavy, which is a rocket that it has not yet flown. So it's like we haven't even seen this rocket in the air yet. Yeah, uh, fairly experimental stuff. Now, where are they in terms of sort of their satellite business? We know that they tried to launch something to connect with the uh, International Space Station last week, right? Uh, what happened there? Well, I mean, they, they docked with the International Space Station. They did dock, Station. okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have a satellite office in Seattle where they're apparently building their own satellite network, but that hasn't been launched yet. It's, they've been pretty quiet about that as of late. And what's their next big project? I mean, it's... it's it well, the first, so they have, you know, several projects. The next sort of big moment for them will be they've landed the first stage of the rocket on land and on the drone ship several times, but they have yet to refly it. They're supposed to do that sometime this spring from Cape Canaveral, and then they've got to get Falcon Heavy in the air right. before they send humans.